Let's talk about reducing your electricity bill, specifically these three points that must be known. 1. Can you believe you could save up to $75 per year just by switching to LED bulbs? 2. Did you know that turning off electronics when not in use can save you up to $100 per year? 3. Are you aware that using power strips can save you up to $200 per year? Hey there, it's Kay Waterloo, and I'm here to help you save some serious cash. Listen up, because I'm going to give you the lowdown on how to cut down your electricity bill. Let's be real, nobody likes paying high bills, especially when it's for something you can easily control. So, let's get straight to the point. By making just a few changes around your home, you could save hundreds of dollars each year. And who wouldn't want to save a few extra bucks? Trust me, I know a thing or two about efficiency, and I'm here to share my knowledge with you. So, buckle up, and get ready to start saving some serious dough. Alright folks, listen up because I'm about to drop some truth bombs on you that will change the way you think about your electricity bill. Are you tired of being ripped off by your energy provider? Sick of getting hit with outrageous bills every month? Then it's time to take matters into your own hands and start reducing your energy usage. Let's face it, we all want to save money, and one of the easiest ways to do that is by reducing your energy consumption. And the best place to start is with your heating pipes. If you're like most people, you probably have pipes running through unheated areas of your home, like your attic, basement, or garage. And every time your heating system turns on, it's working overtime to compensate for those uninsulated pipes. It's like trying to fill up a bucket with a hole in the bottom. No matter how much water you pour in, it's always going to leak out. And that's exactly what's happening with your heating system. It's working harder than it needs to, and you're paying the price with higher energy bills. But here's the good news. Insulating your heating pipes is like plugging up that hole in the bucket. Suddenly, your heating system doesn't have to work as hard, and you're saving money on your energy bill. It's that simple, folks. And the best part is, it's a one-time investment that will pay for itself in no time. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. But K Waterloo, I don't have the money to invest in insulation right now. Well, let me tell you something, you can't afford not to. The cost of insulation is nothing compared to the money you'll save in the long run. It's like buying a car that gets better gas mileage. Sure, it might cost a little more upfront, but it will save you money in the long run. And if you're still not convinced, think about it this way. Every dollar you save on your energy bill is a dollar you can spend on something else. Maybe it's a night out with your family, a vacation you've been dreaming of, or even just a little extra padding in your savings account. The point is, every dollar counts, and insulating your heating pipes is an easy way to save a lot of them. But it's not just about the financial benefits, it's about doing your part to protect the planet. Every time you waste energy, you're contributing to the destruction of our environment. And let's face it, folks, we only have one planet. It's up to each and every one of us to do our part to protect it for future generations. So, what are you waiting for? It's time to take action and start insulating your heating pipes. And the best part is, it's an easy DIY project that anyone can do. You can find insulation at any hardware store, and it's simple to install yourself. And if you're not comfortable doing it yourself, you can always hire a professional to do it for you. In conclusion, folks, insulating your heating pipes is one of the easiest and most effective ways to reduce your energy consumption and save money on your electricity bill. It's a smart investment that will pay for itself in no time, and it's something that anyone can do. So, stop throwing your money out the window and start investing in your home's energy efficiency. Your wallet and the planet will thank you. Hey there, I wanted to take a moment to thank all of you for your amazing support. Thanks to your help, we're reducing our electricity bills without sacrificing our quality of life. But we're not stopping here. I'm on a mission to help everyone save big on their electricity bills, and I want you to come along for the ride. So make sure to subscribe, activate notifications, like, and share my content. Together, we'll discover new and exciting ways to keep more money in our pockets. And I want to hear from you. Share your opinions and ideas for future content, and I'll do my best to make them happen. Plus. I'll give you exclusive sneak peeks and behind-the-scenes access to my creative process. But let's keep it positive, folks. Collaboration is key, so let's work together to achieve our goals. And to the detractors out there, I welcome constructive criticism, but let's leave the negativity at the door. So what are you waiting for? Let's join forces and save some serious cash on our electricity bills. Alright, alright, alright folks. You've learned how to keep your heating pipes from wasting your money. But now let's talk about the big ticket item on your energy bill, your air conditioner. Now, I know we all love a nice cool breeze on a hot summer day, but let's be real here. Running your air conditioner 24-7 is a surefire way to skyrocket your energy bill. But don't sweat it, because I've got some tips to help you beat the heat and save some serious cash. First off, let's talk about temperature. You don't need to set your air conditioner to arctic blast levels to stay comfortable. 
In fact, every degree you lower your thermostat can increase your energy bill by up to 3%. So, try setting your thermostat to a comfortable 78 degrees instead. And when you're not home, turn your thermostat up to 85 degrees to save even more. But here's the real kicker. Your air conditioner isn't just cooling the air in your home, it's also dehumidifying it. And that means it's using even more energy. So, try using a dehumidifier instead. They use significantly less energy than an air conditioner and can make a big difference in your energy bill. And here's a pro tip for you. Use ceiling fans to circulate the air in your home. They use a fraction of the energy that an air conditioner does and can make a room feel up to 8 degrees cooler. Plus, they're way cheaper to run than an air conditioner, so you'll be saving money and staying cool at the same time. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but K Waterloo, I can't live without my air conditioner. Well, let me tell you something, you don't have to. But you do need to be smart about it. Try using a programmable thermostat to set your air conditioner to turn on and off at specific times. That way, you can still enjoy the cool air when you need it, but you're not wasting energy when you're not home. And speaking of wasting energy, let's talk about leaks. If you've got leaks in your ductwork, you're wasting energy and money. It's like pouring money down the drain. But don't worry, it's an easy fix. Just seal those leaks with some duct tape or caulking, and you'll be saving money in no time. Now, I know I've been talking a lot about saving money, but let's not forget about the environmental benefits of reducing your energy consumption. By using less energy, you're doing your part to protect the planet and reduce your carbon footprint. And that's something we should all strive for. So, to sum it up, use a programmable thermostat, set your air conditioner to a comfortable temperature, use a dehumidifier, use ceiling fans to circulate the air, seal leaks in your ductwork, and save money while protecting the environment. It's a win-win situation, folks. In conclusion, I hope you've learned something today. By being smart about your air conditioner usage, you can save money and reduce your energy consumption. And that's something we should all strive for. So, go out there and beat the heat without breaking the bank. Your wallet and the planet will thank you. Hey there, energy savers! Are you tired of high electricity bills and feeling like you're wasting money? Well, it's time to take action and join my course where you'll learn all the tips, strategies and knowledge needed to reduce your electricity bills without sacrificing your quality of life. No matter your skill level, this course has something for everyone. And the best part? You'll be contributing to a more sustainable and cost-effective community, making a positive impact on the environment and your wallets. But wait, there's more. I'm excited to announce future partners.